Happy Sunday afternoon on April 19th, 2020. And I just wanted to set a challenge for everyone, especially for those of you that um, do not believe on Jesus. And also for those of you that say you believe on Jesus and yet you worry about or you think about what else do I have to do to be saved um, Greg Jackson just put out a video that said leave your ifs ands or buts and I was thinking about this and actually this is something that I have given as given as an assignment to my Bible students who I have not been able to meet with at school for the past month or so but they have two more weeks of assignments and I challenge them to do this. So this is what I'm going to challenge you to do. I challenge you to read the Gospel of John, just read through it. Just read and read. Um, do it within a week. Now they're gonna do it in two weeks. Um, but just read and read. And as you read, take a pen, okay? Just a pen, just an ordinary pen and underline everywhere, or a highlighter, if you wanna take a highlighter, and highlight every single place where it uses the word believe, or a form of it. Because John says, in the second to the last chapter that he writes, he said, these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that Believing, you may have life in his name. That is why John wrote the Gospel of John. That is the second to the last chapter. In the first chapter, he wrote many things, but one thing he did write in chapter 1, verse 12, it says, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name. Now, as you go through the Gospel of John, this is your challenge, go through the Gospel of John and see what it says about being saved. How are you saved? You simply believe. And I challenge anyone to come up with anything differently because John, you know, that's where we get John 3, there's where John 3, 16 is. Well, we've heard that verse so many times. Whosoever believeth on him shall have everlasting life. I'm a whosoever. You're a whosoever. Anyone. He gives the right to become children of God to those who believe on his name. John the Baptist gave the same witness. He said, He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. John the Baptist said that. There's no addition to it. You believe on the Son of God. So, that's my challenge. Read through the Gospel of John. If you want to just read and, you know, read, speed read it, but read it. And underline every word that uses a form of the word believe. And see what it says.